Alrighty guys, let's get right into this review. The Milwaukee Bucks defeat the Portland Trailblazers at home 90-88 to and it went down to the wire. I'm going to try my best to sum up the game before I actually get into the review. So basically Milwaukee leads big, they actually had a largest lead of 14 at one point during the game. And like the Bucks have historically done, allowed a huge comeback in the third quarter by the opposing team. So Portland takes the lead with two by two points at the start of the fourth. And they actually do pretty well in the fourth, looking like they're going to take control of the game, but the Bucks hang on and take the W. They do this through OJ Mayo, Greg Monroe, and Michael Carter Williams, the man I support and will continue to support. Sure, Michael Carter Williams had 8 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, and he didn't shoot the ball particularly well. He turned the ball over a bit and actually had a few fouls, but he made the right plays down the stretch in the end when it mattered. With about a minute left in the game, the Bucks were with a score and foul strategy. That's all they had to do with two timeouts left with about a minute 30 to go. So they get an easy two by Giannis, a play that I thought was a genius play by Jason Kidd. They foul, Lillard makes both free throws, and then the coaching staff draws up a beautiful play for OJ to take the three-point basket, which he nails to make the lead a single point. On the other end, this was a huge play for the Bucks defensively. As the Portland Trailblazers inbounds the ball, Michael Carter-William ties up C.J. McCollum and forces a jump ball, which he's going to obviously win because he's a beast. Regardless, the, ball, the Bucks, with no timeouts left in 15 seconds of the game, ran a play through MCW that involved him going straight to the rack, and he had two choices to either take the shot or dish the ball off to Monroe, which he did after he got the little bit of a double team. Monroe finished in what I thought was a foul, but he finished regardless and gave the Bucks a single-point lead. With about five seconds left, Portland had an opportunity to take the lead, and they actually draw up a good play with Myers Leonard going to the rim, and John Henson makes the huge block, which essentially sealed the game with the Bucks leading by one. Now, for a Bucks fan, you had a little scary moment as the officials called a foul in favor of Milwaukee, which forced Milwaukee to have to shoot free throws with 0.6 seconds left, and you know anything could happen in the NBA. But Mike Carter Williams was fouled makes the first free throw, and intentionally misses the second free throw. Yes, he didn't do it on accident. He intentionally missed it to force the clock to wind down, not allowing Portland to make a miracle three-point basket. This was an exciting game for both teams, and you had a chance for both teams. You could see both teams having a chance for victory in the end. It should not have been like that. Milwaukee should have beat Portland as soon as they were up 14, but like I said before, historically, third quarters are not the best for the Milwaukee Bucks. Greg Monroe had a phenomenal 16.12 rebound, ga re rebound game while shooting efficiently from the field once again. You could say the same for Giannis who scored 17 and grabbed 9 rebounds with huge free throws at the end. On the other end, Damian Lillard had 23 points and 7 assists and really just shook up everything for the Bucks as he leads the Trailblazers back into the game in the third quarter once again. Historically bad for the Bucks. Miles Plumlee's brother, Mason Plumlee, got the star for Portland and was locked down. Scoring 3 points in 20 minutes. You may think of him as a rebound, but in those 20 minutes, he grabbed 4 boards. CJ McCollum, the new rising scorer for the Trailblazers, who's had to take a lot more responsibility on, had 17 points and didn't really do it on efficient matter, taking a large amount of shots. He took a team high 21 to be exact, and he only made 5 of them. So yeah, that won't win you in the ball games. Final score 90 to 88, and the Bucks have the Los Angeles Clippers next. In a special game where the Bucks will be unveiling their alternate court design and wearing their alternate jerseys. Look forward to that. Alrighty, guys. Peace. It's fun. It's fun in this world we live in. Yeah. Chilling with the homies, smoking loud in the kitchen. People just mad cause I'm flyer than a pigeon. People just mad cause I made it when they did it. But soon enough, none of that will matter. I'm the rise of fame and I'm climbing broken ladders. Got no chick but my new.